Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a practicing architect from the Township and Affordable Housing Business Unit of Sabana Jurong. We are a global multidisciplinary consultancy group formed in 2015 through a merger between the consulting arms of the Housing Development Board and Jurong Town Corporation. And we focus on urban development, infrastructure development, and management services. We have been using Graphicsoft to deliver our projects in a timely and professional manner by implementing a company-wide adoption of Archicad to standardize and streamline our workflow processes. Archicad has helped us to move towards a one integrated model approach to combat the challenges that using federated model pose, which is namely additional coordination, resources, management, and collaboration. Archicad allows us to be at the forefront offering top-notch architecture solutions and delivering them through our unique one integrated model approach. In this presentation, let me show you how. I would like to express my sincere thanks to Graphicsoft for inviting me today to share with you on SGA's journey on leveraging of digital technology in our company. Specifically, how we embrace digital technology in our collaborative multidisciplinary design environment for the design and delivery of projects in SJ's Township Business Unit. SJ Group is based in Singapore and has subsidiary companies all over the world. It is fully owned by Thermasic Holdings, which is Singapore's biggest global investment company with a net portfolio of 400 over billion Singapore dollars. Quantitatively, SJ in numbers, we have presence in 40 over countries, 16,000 uh, plus employees, 7,000 active projects, and a fee revenue of approximately 1.86 billion Singapore dollars. SJ Group Vision is to be a global consultancy powerhouse for urbanization, infrastructure, developments, and managed services. And our mission is to deliver complete value chain solutions to support sustainable social and economic growth for our clients. Focusing on achieving the above two goals, we have assembled a group of companies all over the globe with domain specialty on architecture, engineering, infrastructure, security, and sustainability. Within the SJ Group, our capabilities are broadly categorized in three main areas, which is infrastructure development, urban development, Managed service. Within the urban development core capabilities, we are set up to provide a full suite of services to cater to the built environment for a broad range of developments, including uh, developments like residential, industrial, and business parks and healthcare. We also provide engineering, architecture, master planning, landscaping, and sustainability services for urban development projects. So, for today's sharing session, we the Township and Affordable Housing Business Unit is within this part of the SJ family. So for SJ Township and Affordable Housing, we are a 300 plus strong business unit made up of a multidisciplinary teams of architects, engineers, project managers, and other building professionals dedicated to designing and development of affordable housing and township across the world. Our vision is to provide sustainable housing solutions that support communities to thrive. We have 60 over years of township development experience and we have delivered and designed over 1 million homes in Singapore, which is 8 of, out of 10 Singaporeans live in homes designed by us. These are some of the images affordable housing projects we have done in Singapore. The first one we want to showcase is North Shore Straits View, which is 1,000 over dwelling units. And the other one uh, shown in this slide is Point Cove, which is 2,000 over dwelling units. Some of the township and housing projects we have done overseas, by which we have established that we are a multidisciplinary consultancy business unit, working with a large team of architects, engineers, and building professionals to design and deliver large affordable housing projects, mostly uh, 1,000 dwelling units and above. From here, 
you can already understand why the optimization of our in-house resources, collaborative workflows and processes is very important for us to successfully deliver affordable housing for our clients. Over the past few decades, design has gone through significant transformation. It has moved from a discipline that is focused primarily on aesthetics to a more holistic, inclusive approach that also includes downstream stakeholders' requirements, both the technical and operational point of view. This shift has led to the emergence of multidisciplinary design teams where professionals from different backgrounds work together to complete a project. For this portion of the presentation, I will sh share what SJ sees as the future of design and construction industry. The focus will be on collaborative, multidisciplinary design. I will also go on in the later part to share how our one integrated model collaboration process has evolved throughout these years. What we think is key to an optimized multidisciplinary design lies with having a robust collaboration framework. From SJ experience, Four critical foundations or pillars is needed to achieve a robust collaboration framework for a one model collaborative design process. The four pillars are BIM, second pillar, a collaboration and process platform, third pillar, open standards, and of course, the final one, training. We see BIM as an essential pillar for collaborative multidisciplinary design. It is used as a vehicle for design. BIM facilitates a seamless flow of information between all parties involved in a project. This means that all our project stakeholders have access to the same information, which in turn reduces errors, eliminates reworks, and speeds up project delivery. The second essential pillar for collaborative multidisciplinary design is only made possible by the advancement of design collaboration platforms. The maturing of collaboration processes like BIM process, BDC processes. Adopting BIM for multidisciplinary design is increasingly becoming the preferred approach for many design firms. At Sabana Jurong, we have been using Archicad since 2017. With the integration of Archicad and our open BIM processes, our architects, engineers, and even contractors during the construction stage can now collaborate more effectively and efficiently, resulting in a more successful project delivery. Another essential factor for the success of collaborative multidisciplinary design is the adoption of open standards or industrial standards such as IFC. The development of industry standards for BIM helps ensure consistency, interoperability, and the exchange of information between different systems. The use of industry standards also promotes efficient collaboration between different disciplines. Lastly, training and education are also critical factors for the success of collaborative multidisciplinary design. All stakeholders in a project must be trained on the use of BIM technology. This includes architects, engineers, contractors, project managers, and other stakeholders. With adequate training, it enables all parties involved to work together more effectively and efficiently. The following slides will illustrate how we leverage on our integrated one model approach to facilitate collaborative multidisciplinary design. The one model approach applies these three pillars, BIM, collaboration and processes platform, open standards. To allow all disciplines to design in real time on a single shared project model held in a centralized repository. What it means is all parties can access and modify the same model. And the benefit is that it removes the final layer of risk of conflicting information in real time. In an increasingly data-driven world, uncoordinated design and duplicate information can be a recipe for confusion. Tasked with one model, our single source of truth system will provide certainty, real-time coordinated design. This diagram illustrates how our integrated one model approach is set up conceptually. We start from jointing the unique model, then to the block model, and after that to the ancillary and site model, and finally, combined to the federated full model. The main idea is for the team to start with identifying the smaller assembly of models. And as the team develops the model, these smaller models are then combined and linked to the next level of model and finally to the full model. During this process, the model development and connotation are focused on important areas where issues are commonly encountered. 
These are mainly where the different design domains come together. This concept of combining smaller models to uh, larger ones is also applied for different hierarchies when we put the model together. This slide shows the example on how parts of a smaller models are referenced to each other to build up to a block model. So uh, from the slide, from right to left, the unit model is developed and then put together for different floors and then combined to a block. You may ask me, are there any learning points from our explanation with the integrated one model process? Of course, we did encounter our fair share of hiccups during our experimentation. One of the main learning points is when we discovered even the, with the most current and up-to-date hardware systems, it will slow down once the architecture and structure and all traits of M&E are all put in one single shared model. So with that, for the sake of efficiency, we did tweak our integrated one model process to have the different traits of the M&E model to be hotlinked to reference to the single architecture and structure model instead of working on the architecture and structure model itself. This tweak has made the process more efficient. I hope what is shared today has been meaningful and useful. In summary, what we have shared today is that for a collaborative design approach to work, we require a robust collaboration framework. To have a robust collaboration framework, we, we have to have these four pillars. The first pillar is BIM. Second pillar, platform and processes. Third pillar, open standards. And finally, training. In conclusion, I would like to share four observations on the future of multidisciplinary design. The first observation is that BIM and digital tools will be leading the future of multidisciplinary design. These digital tools could be in the likes of virtual reality, augmented reality, machine learning, AI, etc. The second observation is that more and more multidisciplinary BIM collaboration tools and platforms will be needed for future projects as our projects become more complex and also project stakeholders become more involved in the upstream design process. The third observation is that working and choosing the right tools, solutions and partners is needed for a successful project outcome. So choose your technology partners properly to cater for your project needs. And finally, the fourth observation, especially in today's environment, choosing and leveraging on the right technology could also gain the competitive edge for your project and design delivery. At SJ, we are leveraging on the integrated one model concept from Graphicsoft to enhance design coordination and collaboration amongst multidisciplinary teams by working on a shared model with real-time information. With this integrated one model concept, the conventional need of a dedicated beam coordinator could be reassigned for more meaningful tasks as scheduled regular coordination meetings is reduced since all parties are working on a central model in real time. We have also seen significant improvements and gains in our design efficiency and reduction of potential conflicts and delays, thus leading to a smoother and more successful project outcome. One integrated model is the way to go for multidisciplinary design. It not only saves valuable time, but also minimizes the risk of errors prevents data loss, enabling us to gain competitive edge in the way we efficiently handle projects. Overall, the future of multidisciplinary design is bright, with BIM and digital tools leading the way towards more efficient, sustainable and innovative designs. We are proud that Graphicsoft is a partner with us and we welcome more of the advancement and research Graphicsoft has done for our organization. I would like to thank the team in Graphicsoft especially Graphicsoft Singapore, for all their efforts in partnering SJ in our integrated digital delivery journey. Thank you.